there's the drogue deployment. And there you see the main parachutes being pulled out by those drogues. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love to see it. Now, if you've got a keen eye, you might note the caps, the parachutes have a slightly new design. And you can see Let's one of those is lagging on its uh, inflation, but uh, that's all right. We have we've designed the system to have backups to the backups. Uh, this this system can safely land with fewer than three parachutes. So we're going to continue following this all as it approaches the West Texas desert. And it looks to me like the uh, stats that you're seeing on the screen are accurate there for the capsule descent. That's the correct that's the correct expected. Uh, De, um, descent speed for the capsule after the parachutes have deployed, right about 16 miles an hour. You can see this is a, a shot from one of our drones. And you're seeing the little bit of a helicopter, <laughs> the blade of the of the of the drone there. Yeah. Now, as we descend uh, under parachutes, um, now they are essential for providing a gentle touchdown of our capsule. But like Joel said, uh, we've got many backup systems. Um, one of the nominal systems we use for touchdown is our uh, retro thrust system that might kick up a little bit of dust here. Let's take a look. And that third chute looks like it has now inflated, which is great. And touchdown. All right. Beautiful touchdown touch of the capsule today on our 29th mission here.